What is up Sagittarius? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your weekly reading from the 18th to the 24th of November. So let's see what energies are available for you. Let's see what's coming up this week for you and how can you get ready for what's coming up. All right. Today I'm super excited to be doing this reading because of this deck. It's the Hello Kitty Tarot, which is the cutest thing ever. For me as a collector, this is a very rare find, so I'm very excited to be sharing it with you. Um, and I'm going to be supporting the reading with the Animal Oracle as well. So yes, let's do this. This is going to be a very short and sweet to the point weekly reading. And the idea, the intention is that you have a message that you can easily remember for you to take with you for the week. Okay. Take what resonates with you, leave the rest. Feel free to apply these messages to whatever context is going on in your life at the time, okay? Before we get started, please subscribe. Make sure that you're subscribed. And let's begin. My beautiful Sagittarius. main energy here we've got the two of cups so some of you guys are quite focused on love right now romance partnership connecting with a special someone for some of you as i mentioned it's going to be related to romance but for others this could be a business partnership or a connection with a good good friend this speaks about a connection between two people that really see each other that really value each other that really connect to each other on a soul level it's a very balanced partnership. Pure love. Okay. So this is the main energy this week. I'm very excited to see this as a main energy because that means that it's going to be a very sweet week for you guys. The challenge for Sagittarius this week is the hanged man. So, yes, there may be some things, some information that you don't know. There may be some delays, there may be some need for patience, there, need, there may be some need for different perspectives. So there's going to be some areas in your life in which you may, need, you may feel as though you are kind of like just suspended, kind of like waiting for something to happen, waiting for information to come through, waiting for answers to come through, maybe in regards to love, maybe in regards to work, maybe in regards to health. Nothing too stressful, but you're going to be kind of like, well, I can't really move forward until I get that information, so I'm just going to chill. Okay. In the recent past, Sag, we got the Devil card. So some of you guys maybe are trying to work yourself out from bad habits. You're trying to liberate self-sabotage, addictions, codependencies. Things that you know are not good for you. You're trying to leave that behind. For some of you guys, it's going to be easier than for others. But you're really making an effort to leave those things in the past. And move forward into a space of love and happiness. You definitely want to move into a more stable space. You're thinking about how to create a more solid foundation for your life. Maybe financially, maybe in regards to your career, your work, maybe in regards to love, romance, family. Maybe you're starting, to, you're thinking about starting a family with a special someone. But you're definitely thinking about structure. You're thinking about a plan, thinking about what you want. Maybe with that special someone, for some of you. This is a week that seems a lot about planning. The universe wants you to know that a lot of those plans should be um, maybe guided intuitively. So what do you feel like you want to do? What feels right for you? 
try not to design those life plans with your mind. What what should I do? What should we do? Try to avoid those questions and instead ask yourself, what do we really want to do? That's going to guide you more intuitively than what should I do or what should I be doing or what people do at this time. Try to really focus on intuitively making things happen from a space of love. And in your near future, there seems to be a very powerful transformation happening, right? The death card is very positive. People that don't know about tarot see the death card and they think that it means that they're going to die. First and foremost, we're all going to die. <laughs> That's the first thing that you need to realize when this card comes up. We're all going to die. After that, this card is not saying that you're going to die. <laughs> in the near future. We're all gonna die in the future. That is not what this card is saying. This card is saying that you are going to go through an important transformation, a death and a rebirth. So when you have a breakup, when you have a change of work, when you have a spiritual epiphany, when you have when you move apartments, that is a death and a rebirth. The death of the old and the birth of the new. So it's basically just a change, okay? So something is going to be changing in the future for the better. And you're going to be transforming into a version of you that is more aligned with who you are. It's going to feel better for you, okay? So I'm going to be pulling an additional message for you from the Animal Oracle for this week for Sagittarius. Here we go. Cat spirit number 13, 13, sorry. Cat spirit, claim your independence. I love cats. For your information. <laughs> FYA. Claim your independence. So that is another very important thing. As you make all of these plans with your partner, you are a Sagittarius. You guys need independence. You guys need freedom. You crave freedom, you can't live without it. As soon as it's threatened, you guys freak out. So <laughs> make sure that the plans that you are planning with your partner or with that special someone include a healthy level of freedom for you, a healthy level of independence, okay? So yes, my lovelies, this is what I have for you for this week. I hope that this reading has served you. I hope it is helpful. And I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I know it's very short, I know it's very short and sweet and to the point, but I still hope that you can take this message with you and that it's easier to remember because it is short. Hopefully, that's my intention. Um, what else, guys? Please make sure that you're subscribed before you go. Make sure to check the links in the description box as well if you feel like it. And yep, yeah, I'm just gonna stay here. I'm gonna pick up all the cards, take my time, have my coffee. And I'll see you very soon, my lovelies. Reconnect to the channel next weekend. I'm, I'm going to be posting another weekly for you. Okay, my Sag. I love you. Bye, guys.